All right, so today we are checking out the newly released MAPS SZ2306 Space Series motors, and this is going to be the second generation. So theoretically, this is going to be taking over for the first gen, so it should be a successor of the first gen. So this particular one I have is going to be the 750 kV version, and you do have the option to get them in 1950 kV and 2450 kV. So based on MAPS explanation, unlike the budget-friendly Neo series motor that they released uh, basically a while ago, you can see this is the Neo series and this is the new Space 2. The Neo series are supposed to be budget-friendly and basically their budget line of products should like provide optimal performance with basically the lowest possible price. And the Space Series are going to be their slightly premium line that is going to be better using material, better designed, and should offer better performance with a slight increase of cost. So basically, that's what they told me. So in this video, we're basically just going to be comparing the second generation toward the first generation. So this is the first gen Space Series, second gen face, second gen Space Series, all 2306. We're just going to see what they actually changed and like is there actually any improvements so at the end you can decide if this is the right fit for your next project let's get going okay so let's bring out the two motors for comparison so on the right we have the original 2306 motors and on the right the new 2306 second motors so first gen and second gen so as you can see, the design, there isn't any significant change. So both still have the Unibuilt design. They have a titanium alloy shaft and the signature flower, sunflower pattern, which I really like this. It's, it looks, it basically gives it a pop of the image. So speaking of the sunflower pattern, the Space 2 series basically is going to be featuring less, fewer, but thicker beams. So you can see that you're basically having 10 beams right here the same little beams right here but thicker and the original ones you're going to have more beams at 12 beams so the thicker beams based on what maps told me should enhance the durability and the cooling capability so reducing the chance of overheating and basically brings a little bit of longevity to the motors so the next major difference is going to be in the wires. This is something probably you won't be able to spot based on the appearance, but according to maps, they have restructured their wiring. So basically how they wire these wires to optimize the space filling factors. So essentially, the higher the space filling factor in the motors, the more active conducer conductors is going to have. Theoretically, it, this is going to lead to more power and better performance. So this is a pretty exciting news because who doesn't want more power for the same cost, right? So basically, the Space 2 series are currently go only going to be available in two colors. So you're going to get be able to get this in fluorescent green and the cane. That's it. So this is the fluorescent green and the cane is going to be right here. So I don't have the new ones yet, but this is the first gen and this is the cane color so as for the sizing as far i only know maps has confirmed that they will be releasing the 2306 2207 and the 2004 so basically only three in the space 2 series i'm not sure if they're going to slowly basically integrate it to like phase out the gen 1 but but currently these are the three that they have confirmed so all right so we're done talking now let's step these motors onto a quad and let's go out onto the field and give them a, some quick test
right, so the installation has been complete. So we're basically going to go to the field and we're going to test fly these SC2306 second generation motors to see if we can actually feel any difference from the previous gen. But all right, let's get going. All right, so we're basically switching the scene to a local park in Orange County. So you can see now we have more space to test fly these bigger quads. So basically, the battery wise, we'll be using the, my favorite Tatsu R line batteries to like complete this test. So let's plug it in and let's give it a go. Okay, let's hook up these lipos. Okay. So for this one, I think it's better to plug in like that. This is a big ass lipo compared to the size. Okay. Let's drop it on the floor. Probably it's gonna be a lot of like dust or whatsoever. All right, so the footage you're seeing right now is coming off from the DJI Goggles 2, and basically this is gonna be the DVR. And while you're in the camera, we're using actually the Runcam Wasp. Yeah, not a big fan of this camera, but it works. But anyway, so what we're doing right here is trying to see if we can feel the difference of this motor, but yeah, right off the bat, you can feel that this thing is definitely, this thing is really fast. And yeah, comparing to the previous generation, I doubt I will be able to tell you any useful information because like, unless I like build the exact same quad and test it like side by side and blindly and like feel like which one I like it better, that's, there's always gonna be something like the emotional feeling about the ones I'm testing. So probably, yeah, I'll say they are kind of like the same, but based on what MAPS is saying, that they did actually invest some time to like redesign the little uh, exterior and interior a little bit. So I would say probably they should be better, but that's just whatever that is on paper. So, but yeah, if you wanted to like get me to give you any facts, probably I won't be able to do so. Yeah. But definitely they are really, really, I would say they are really, really fun to fly. You can see that if you wanted to do some punch up, you do get a power like basically responses pretty quick. Yeah. And that's the reason why I really like those kind of like 7050 motors. It's better on the lower end. So if you want like a better like performance, like you want a better top speed, probably just get the higher KV ones or whatsoever. But I'm like, I'm like not so power hungry because when you reach a certain age, you kind of like, you don't, don't want it to risk too much. And yeah and especially I don't have a lot of time to fly. So this is something that, ooh, wow. Kind of like have a little signal break right there. But, but overall, I would say this quad is definitely, a, like this, these motors are definitely going to be something that is worth the money. Depends on how much they sell, of course. So, so far, I don't know how much the price is going to be, but I would say if they're asking about 15 bucks, yeah, I would say it's worth it. 15? 15 bucks is worth it, but if you go above, I don't know. It's really just up to you. So at 15 bucks, you can get a lot of like good motors from other manufacturers already. So I think that's kind of like the standardized like companies are doing for like their uh, premium, like kind of like middle, middle, middle line products and like the lower end, it's going to be probably around like 10 bucks or like $11, that sort of thing. And definitely for getting these motors at $15, it's definitely gonna be worth it. I don't know if it's gonna be the price, but my guess is probably it will. Some, somewhere, let land somewhere at this. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah. These are definitely powerful. You can see that you get a lot of like speed out here and I always like really like enjoy when you have like a big space to like fly because like when you have a small space, there's just not a lot of fun there. So, oh, by the way, when you don't have a GoPro on top of your quad, like basically each, most of the quads are going to rip and you're going to feel like so much power. But if you like start hanging a GoPro, you're going to feel like there's a death weight at the front. So yeah, that's just something that probably is not going to be really, really fair in this test because I'm not hanging a GoPro, but as most of my tests, I'm not doing it. Yeah, so I guess there's not a lot to say about this motors because, yeah, if you're worried about the quality, 
they are basically, it's not longer a secret that they are basically MAPS OEM is going to be T-Motors. So if you buy T-Motors, yeah, MAPS should not be a problem to you. So yeah, but anyway, I guess that's about it for this video. I kind of like ran out of words. So if you wanted to have any questions or have any comments, please feel free to feel free to just leave it down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. All right. I'm done with the video. Now I can go with some mountain cruising so I won't be afraid of losing this quad.